look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so crazy. Fox War. <laughs> oh my god. Make it stop raining, please. Steve Eager, make it stop raining. <laughs> <laughs> I commanded the rain to stop at about yes. 6 30 tonight, and I think uh -huh. it, it worked. Um, Taylor, this is Dana Taylor, really funny, from Carrollton with a message for me, apparently, and the station to make it stop raining. Okay, Dan Henry, I know Steve's got a lot of power, but not even he can do <laughs> well, that. Let's see if you can help, Dana. Make it stop. Well, actually, I know where to direct all my complaint calls now oh. about the weather. Send them over That's to Steve Eager's extension. Perfect. The viewer's voice, <laughs> FYI, Dan. We do something called the viewer's voice. <laughs> oh. By the way, I wouldn't advise this at home to be kind of driving and shooting video. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those rainfall amounts here. Albert Lawrence and Granbury with two inches in Cleburne. Gale White, 1.74 inches of uh, rainfall. In Weatherford, Jerry Madonna, 1.6 inches. John Prater in West Fort Worth right at an inch of rain. We continue the list here uh, with uh, some of these more amounts. Russell Vincent in Colleyville had one in one tenth of an inch of rainfall. And uh, in Wills Point, Ronnie Wallace with just shy of an inch of rain. Mesquite also Nancy Bean with 0 0.90 inches of rainfall. And obviously the rain here has done wonders for the lakes over recent days and weeks. Bridgeport has gained about eight and a half feet in the last eight days. Grapevine now is almost nine feet above normal. Texoma is almost 11 feet above normal. Richland Chambers 1.4 feet above normal, but there's still work to do, as I said, on Bridgeport and Possum Kingdom is still down just shy of seven feet below normal. There goes the rain and thunderstorms lifting off rapidly to our north and east, and we are now dry across all of North Texas. The area of low pressure that helped trigger today's rainfall is located east of Amarillo. That will swing up through northwestern Oklahoma and head up towards Omaha by uh, late tomorrow afternoon. There are a few thunderstorms that may try to clip uh, our northwestern counties here as we head through the next couple of hours. I believe just about all of this, though, will ride up into Oklahoma, but there's an outside chance that we could get a few of them that skirt, let's say, uh, northern and northwestern Monte County uh, between now and early tomorrow morning. So there's your 20% chance tonight. Most of you are going to stay dry. About a 20% chance tomorrow for some isolated pop-up showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the afternoon hours. So most of us will catch a break here the next 24 hours. We'll take it up to 40% uh, though on Friday morning. In fact, that may be a little conservative looking at some of the very latest uh, computer model guidance. We may have to bump that chance up a bit. And then Saturday, I'll talk more about that in detail here in just a few minutes. Mid to upper 60s currently around the Dallas Fort Worth area. Winds are south at 11, the dew point at 65. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies, I think becoming partly sunny as we head into the afternoon. It'll be warmer tomorrow by about a good 10 degrees. Low 80s for highs, again with those isolated pop-up showers and storms. Future cast uh, will roll it here the next 24 hours. As we heat things up tomorrow, we'll see those isolated showers and storms with a little higher coverage, I think, as you head to the east of Dallas and Fort Worth. And then here comes the next batch early on Friday morning, at least with the timing early in the day, that should minimize the threat of any severe weather, at least on Friday. But we jump ahead to Saturday, a strong belt of jet stream winds to our north and west. An approaching dry line could bring the threat of severe weather as far east as Dallas and Fort Worth as we head into late Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Low 80s for highs Thursday and Friday. Your uh, thunderstorm chance 30% Saturday afternoon. That goes up to 50% Saturday night and Sunday. Still a chance of rain and storms on Monday. And then we dry it out for a little bit on Tuesday.